Hello YouTubers, this is Mer171. Today I'm bringing you my new carry knife. It's the Emerson Super Commander. Now this knife, before I really get into it, this knife is basically the Emerson Commander but bigger. And of course the Emerson Commander won best all-around knife in the, the International Blade Show some year. They like to boast that on their website. You know what, I can believe it. Emerson's supposed to make some pretty good knives. I got some friends with some. They're real impressed with them. I didn't realize I was going to get this sticker, but they gave me a sticker, and it's pretty cool. There we go on my toolbox with all my other logo stickers, and here's the warranty card. On this warranty card, it looks like they boast that uh, these are the knives issued for the International Space Station by NASA, so that's pretty cool. And, um... Uh, you know, this is a U.S. company. This is a U.S. made knife. They're made out of California. That's where the company's located, and that's that's hard to beat these days. I, I love a good U.S. manufacturing company. Now, Emerson is also known for their great warranties, though I've never had to personally deal with one of their warranties. So, I have no first-hand, you know, knowledge of it, but I hear that they've got some pretty stellar warranties. Now, as you can see, it is definitely not spraying assist. I would, I really don't care much for spraying assist on everyday carry knives. I've seen one open in some guy's pocket before. It was pretty messy, pretty bloody. So you know, I don't like that. As far as my carry knives, I have a few, but I don't, I don't carry them. And you can see that it's got its wave, patented wave design to open. This will grab the pocket and pull the blade open when you remove the knife from the pocket. Of course, with that comes the pocket clip, belt clip, whatever you want to hook it on, and a manual opening stud, which is obviously there. Now, this knife has an amazing feel to it. It is solid. There's no, you can see there's no movement side to side, no movement front to back against the handle. It is fit quite well, and that brings you to the next interesting feature about it. This is a titanium insert. The lock on this knife is titanium. So that's going to be hell to break. Titanium does very well on impact. It's very hard, very difficult to defeat, you know, per amount. It, it's much stronger than, than most metals. I'm not telling you anything you don't know, I'm sure. Now, it comes with a, you know, 154cm blade. And I like, I actually kind of like that steel. I like it a lot on pocket knives. It holds an edge pretty well. Uh, it's pretty hard. This one's 57 to 59 buckle hardness, you know, RC. Just for those of you who are reading the stats, which I'm going to put up on the screen, I imagine, right about now. So that you can read them, you can pause it, and, uh, you know, read them all you want. This knife comes with a V grind. It is very sharp. It, uh, I guess I can show you all. very sharp obviously and of course I got it in the black coating as to uh, try to manage any rust damage because since it is going to be my EDC knife it is going to get ex you know, exposed to moisture sweat etc etc and I'm gonna I'm gonna want it to not rust away on me of course you don't have to worry about the titanium it's it's very erosion resistant so you don't really have to worry about titanium but I didn't want the blade to erode on me so it, I got the black coating uh, I would have got the combo edge with the serrations but it was uh, sold out where I ordered it but the plain edge is fine with me the plain edge is also easier to sharpen for me so I'm really not not too worried about it now the texture of this handle and I gotta be honest with you, I kind of fallen in love with that texture it's not aggressive my hands are dry right now and it doesn't impede into me or anything but if you push and you rub your hand across it you can feel that texture that means when my hands are wet or whatever it is that I'm doing it won't slide out of my hands especially since I'm gonna probably be end up opening it out of my pocket with one hand because I'll probably be holding something up against something or holding something that I gotta cut with the other hand so I, I, uh, I'm real impressed with the handle the, the textured ribs up at the top yield excellent control for detail work. I mean, you just saw me cut the paper with very, very little effort. So, you know, I'm uh, 
between the fit and feel, fit and feel, the smooth action on it. I mean, it's pretty smooth. It's going to break in and be ridiculously smooth. Of course, it's adjustable on tension, but and uh, just overall feel of it. I'm, I'm looking real forward to dealing with this knife. I mean, I'm not, with their warranty, I'm not afraid of breaking it, so I'm going to use it like I use my knives, which is kind of nice. You can see the, the lanyard hole there, just as a side note. But, and uh, I'm going to, I'm impressed, the fit and feel, I'm really not getting past that. I mean, there's nothing, no wobble, no nothing. Now, the MSRP on this guy, it's, uh, it's not cheap. I want to say, I want to say it's in the neighborhood of about 330 bucks, 340, 350, something like that. I paid somewhere closer to like 250. Uh, so you know, it's it's not a cheap pocket knife, but you got a lot of pocket knife there for that. So I'm pretty impressed. But anyway, if you guys got any comments or anything, just feel free to leave them, and uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to take off now, so thanks for watching, please subscribe, this is Mara 171, just bringing my new ECC knife, take it easy.